Hello people, hope you're enjoying today's weather, a bit cooler than it has been, so we're here in the UK anyway, so um, things are good, I'm not struggling with the heat so much now. Right, today I'm going to do something a little bit different, something I've never ever done before, and that's doing painting with dotting tongs. I haven't got many of these, these are what I used to use for my pottery, but um, I've got a couple of different sizes there. Not much difference between any of those, from really tiny to uh, slightly bigger. Um, these ones are double-ended. got a huge one, which I don't think I'll be using that one, but possibly that one. And I've got nothing that's in between, so I've compromised and found a pin that's larger than my largest of the tools in between that big blue one and I've just shoved it in the end of my pencil just so I can use that you got to compromise sometimes you just got to do that right so what I've done I've prepped a piece of black paper and I've, I've already glued it to the white so you can see it on my table otherwise the black card just disappears and you won't be able to see what I'm doing because my table's so dark and I've pre-marked this I think you can just about see those pencil lines and I've literally just gone with a ruler across always just to give me a guide of keeping sort of on straight lines as it were um, now these were sent to me yesterday and I'm absolutely dying to have a play with them the pink ink designs new matte chalk paints and I've squeezed a little bit of every colour that I have apart from I think two there's 13 colours in all and I've left out the dark grey and I think I've left out the silver thistle so I've left those two out and I've used all these other colours I've got all these in my palette so I'm going to use all these colours and we have in here Blue Lagoon Black Agapanthus, uh, Mimosa, this is gorgeous colour, Chartreuse Daiquiri, Chartreuse Daiquiri, Mandarin Peel, Eucalyptus, which is also a lovely colour, um, Showstopper, that, that pinky one we have current blush wedgwood white oh grecian white of course there's got to be a white in there and stormy skies which is a mid gray there's three grays in this collection i've gone for the one in the middle and i'll leave the other two out right so i've squeezed a little bit of all those 11 into my palette as you can see so let's get dotting might not talk very much on this video because i'll be i'll just be doing dots basically but let's see where where this takes us i'm going to start off with a big blob in the middle i think mm, what color this is the question right okay let's go with this purple and i'm going to do a big dot in the middle there and then I'm going to do some, I'll try and keep these, like, there you go, some small ones, some smaller white dots around. I'm going to use that middle. I've never done this dotting before. So let's just see where it goes. And I'll kind of put that on every other line. I've not got my dots very even, evenly sized, have I? But there you go. Keep. Like I say, I've never done this before, so we'll see where it goes. Right, and I've got me a wet cloth here to wipe off all the paint, any paint. 
Uh, oh, I don't think I want one quite as large. I do I want one as large as that? Let's go with it and just see where it goes. <laughs> Big dots. That's gone on every other line as well, or every, every other two. I'm not getting this very evenly spaced, am I? Okay. <laughs> this is fun. Let me use a little one there, and I'm going to do white dots in between them as well, I think. They may blend in together. Oh, this is fun. Let's try some different colours. Right, let's have a look. What can we do next? Let's go with I'm gonna go with this one again because it's medium sort of size. Let's go with this nice. What's this one called? Blue Lagoon, Blue Lagoon, I'm going to do that on the in between. Don't know how this will end up. I don't even know if I'm doing it right. Just go with the flight. I think it needs some pink or something in the middle of there now. In between these. I just wanted to have a go with these chalk paints and I thought, well, what do I do with them? Looks looking nice so far. My cloth's going to end up multicoloured. There you go. I don't care about that. Right, let's go with, um, let's find a smaller, tall, that one's a bit smaller let's put some yellow in yeah you know you kind of do dots around dots don't you on these designs i've seen it done i've seen it done on stones and things my cousin does this sort of work and they look lovely so i'm just taking a wild guess How's that looking so far? It looks alright, doesn't it? I'm going to put some more yellow. I'm going to put some yellow in between these. Not very evenly spaced, so I'm not really... I don't really know why I put the guidelines on, because I've not followed them. Clearly I've uh, gone wrong somewhere. 
them ones. So now if I put some big dots in, what colour? Let's go with this um, chartreuse. Is it chartreuse or chartreuse? Chartreuse. It's lovely green anyway. I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's gone in between each one. My dots are not very dotty, are not very round, are they? Perhaps you have to keep your tool straight up, right? Yeah, round enough. Right, what next? Um, Stop swigging me tea. Um, something in between. About some of that dark pink there. How big do we need to go? Let's go with this one again. Them ones all around. Um, here's some tiny dots again. Let's go with the yellow. Oh, I've got yellow on them ones, haven't I? Okay, not yellow. What have I not used? Eucalyptus. Six dots round each one this time. Or maybe seven if need be. Bit of a mess of that one. Okay, oh, got that one there as well. Right. Let's do some. White again, what have I not used? Orange. Not very evenly spacing these, am I? Right, 
<laughs> it is what it is. Like I say, I've not done this before, so. Perhaps my lines are not very level. Well, it looks kind of circular, doesn't it? Put an extra dot in there just to bring that round a bit. Oh, I need big dots again to come out of there. Right, let's have a look what colour this time. Do white. Um, where are we? Mm -hmm. Hey, whoops, get too close. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, Bring it out a bit instead of having it as a circle around it. We'll bring it up to a point. And it's turning into like a more of a starry shape now. Oh, it's looking pretty, isn't it? It's coming along. Oh, this is good. I like them enjoying this, actually. This is good fun. Uh, let use the pin one again. That's a good size to use, that is. Yellow. We've not used much yellow, have we? Uh, 
And I think when this dries, I think it'll look, I think it'll look quite bitter. So go around all the way? Yeah, I think so. Um, let's go some small dots again. Tiny, tiny. Okay, what, what with this time? Pink again. Not using much pink, so. Two a bit too close together, doesn't matter. I was watching Kathy from Pink Ink using hers the other day on a demo on creating craft and she makes the most um, the most amazing like flower shapes and stuff with it i don't know how she does it but she's um she's a genius she's a genius she really is very, very inspired by her by her work I took the easy route and thought I'd just try something with some dotting. It's looking nice so far, I think. Uh, what should we do next? We're not using much of purple. Got green, got purple, got red. I've not used the eucalypt. I've not used the grey, have I? Go with grey this time then. Um, let's go a big blob again. Let me go on this line again. Oh, that's getting drips. Getting it drip. Now I need something really pretty around that because brighten that colour up. And what else shall we do? Shall we do some big blobs around there as well? What have I not used much of? Pink. No. Pink, 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 pink. Right, I'm going to do tiny dots around these again there. Right, I'm going to do, let's have a look. We've done that colour, we've done that colour. Um, got the yes on yellow. Um, there's not a blue, is there? There's no blue in this. 
You've got no blue. Okay, this is a blue Wedgwood. That's a kind of a blue, isn't it? Um, Get rid of that grey blob that I found earlier. Should have spaced it in a bit more. That one. Um, let's go with the red again, I think. Didn't leave myself much room on some of these, did I? Too much on others. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not very, very good at spacing these out. I think. I think, I would imagine, if you were going to do anything like this seriously, I would I would suggest drawing it drawing out. I mean, I, I drew lines to try and keep me on straight lines, which I've gone off the lines anyway. Um, but maybe if I'd have drawn circles around as well or something to keep me lined up. Don't know. I'm just enjoying it for what it is. I got dots before my eyes. Everything's gone spotty. Okay, that one's a bit off kilter, isn't it? That one is. Let me just have a drink, excuse me a minute. Lovely. Now then, let's go around them pink ones. I think we're going to use that small, tiny one again. Why is that one so off centre? See if I can round that round that off. It's just gonna be one big spot that is. <laughs> it is what it is.
<laughs> Not very good that bit, is it? <laughs> Excuse me. How's that looking? Nice closer look. I think I'm going to continue with the small dots. Um, I've come to an end on them ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with that green again. Chartreuse. And I'm just going to go along. Like that. Go from big to small. just to finish off with just about to get a green dot in there do more all the pink ones yeah I think so A little bit bigger so that we can see them a bit more. I'm quite liking that. That's looking nice. What other colour can I use? Go out on the grey ones. These grey ones all end a bit. Shall we go with not the purple? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a nice big blob of yellow right in the middle of that because I can. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I'm going to do that on these white ones as well because they look a bit garish, don't they? they? Look like eggs now. Yeah, they 
Yeah, see, once it's dry, some of your bigger spots you can put another spot on top. Like that. Oh, I like, I like, I like. Let's put some orange right now, this small one again. I think that's looking quite neat. I think that looks quite neat. Let's put a bit of this orange as well in the middle of these. This orange is nice, it warms it up. And on it goes. I think, I reckon I could squeeze a little layer of, let's go with this red, a little layer of red in between these. Just to fill that empty gap. Yeah. I think I quite like that, just as it is. What do you guys think? Not bad for a first attempt at dotting, is it really? And I'm not very well spaced or anything, but a lot of that has to do with my uh, my visual problems. But yeah, I quite enjoyed that. Those paints are great for doing that. I think that's uh, that was fun. I enjoyed doing that. Oh, I hope you enjoyed watching it, and uh, I hope I can tempt you to have a, having a go yourself. Just nice, to simple. I think it could go anywhere with dots. You could just do absolutely anything. Just keep building up on your dots and and. Ta -da. thank you for watching i do hope you did enjoy it i enjoyed playing with that it was fun oh yeah a bit of i'll get some some water to get that off um yeah i'll see you next time take care bye bye <laughs>